Welcome along to one of the biggest weekends in motorsports here in Monaco. Cars have been racing through Monaco streets since 1929, and this weekend is no exception as we get to watch the new generation of world-class drivers take over Monte Carlo. Success elsewhere in the pack means that we've got a team principal who's feeling the strain, and if they don't deliver, the board will be starting to ask questions. Hey, I'm Nick Long neighbor. Welcome back to F1 Manager 24, episode number four. So, uh, a couple things. One, board confidence is down to low because we continually are getting 11th place finishes constructor-wise. 10th, the board would be pretty okay with. Finishing last every race, they're not too thrilled with. And there's not a whole lot we can do about it. We just don't have the car or the pace uh, or the money to, uh, to turn it around real fast. Real fast, we need luck on our side. So far, only one race this season have we finished ahead of another team, a whole team. We can get one driver, we can get three drivers, we can get five drivers, but they're always from different teams, and we can't get ahead of both drivers of a constructor. Today, uh, I'm going to try something a little different with, I'm going to see if I can keep the highlights to bare minimum but rush through a few races with a little bit of control to see if a i can beat a team and help keep our job uh, a little more stable and b make sure that we get a little bit higher payout by getting beach finishing uh, ahead and you know offsetting looking for specific results trying to cash in a little bit more because we desperately need it right now well it's great to have you with us folks as we settle in for the weekend's grand prix action well they certainly appear calm and composed heading into this race there's no hiding from the fact that this is going to be a difficult one p22 and a strong field that won't want to yield but remember Anything can happen in Formula One. It's time for one of the most exciting races in the world. This is the Monaco Grand Prix. And it's lights out, and away we go. All right, we are off and racing, uh, starting from the back row of the grid, uh, which obviously makes it tough. We've underfueled by a couple of laps. Uh, Rivas got a decent start to get ahead of Magnussen. That's a big start for us. But it's Beach that we need to get up into P20. It's Rivas that we need to be 21st or higher. 500k at stake for this particular race. Beach on the mediums with a medium, medium, hard strategy. Uh, Rivas going hard, medium, soft in this race. That is one lap in the books, multiple gaps already opening up in various places uh, across the grid, and nobody in particular trouble, though Leclerc looks like he's got at least a warning, uh, thinking that's for components. First good news of the day is a crash on track the involving Stroll. The Tries to, to bail out of it, but that. it's too late. And with a broken suspension, Stroll is, it looks like, no, not out of the race. Stroll is moving again. So Stroll is moving again. Magnussen has already overtaken Rivas. We are on lap number four. It's early on. Had to have broken the wing there at the very least. Will he dive off into the pits to replace it? He does not. We've got an incident. And it's Botas has crashed. Sense, I believe. The very next lap, Botas has crashed. Car into wall. And it looks like he is going to be out of the race as he's hit both. And for the crew uh, watching on. Both of his left side tires up against the wall, and no, he's still. Now, he's moving as well. Now, there's been an incident well. involving the Sauber. He's lost his wing on the other side. Interesting. He had a secondary crash. 
but he's really held up traffic. He pulled everything back by uh, about five seconds. And Botas does not dive off into the pits, so now he's just going to hold up traffic, which is good for us. It does bring it together all the way up through 14th. He's well off pace. Gasly has already made it around. Botas losing a position once every couple of laps at this stage, down to 17th now. Two more cars in between. Rivas has slipped back a little bit, though, so if we are going to catch Botas and overtake him, Seems like it's going to be a little harder for us, or at least for Rivas in particular. Uh, but we do have the ability to start to push. I think once Botas drops one more position, I'm going to begin to try to close it in. And that's Magnuson overtaking Sergeant. But Magnuson has crashed as well on the overtake. Oh, same place, same incident. Just didn't come to a stop. He was able to get going again. So just a touch of the wall, but he does have damage. I think it's time for uh, Rivas to start trying to close this in. And Magnuson drops down to 19th, so Sargent getting around. Uh, and that was another holdup, so catching Botas is going to be important. Magnuson into the pits. Still in the pits. He's been there for quite a while. I think he's going through a wing change at the very least. Sergeant coming back at Botas, already having gained about a second, second and a half, and Rivas has also pulled a second back on Sergeant in the meantime as we begin that push. Beach and Stroll just caught in that traffic, unable to go anywhere. And Stroll slips past Beach, putting us in a spot of bother. We need Beach to be 20th, Rivas to be 21st, so at this point we would have to give up two positions with Rivas. Oh, and this is all over blue flags. This is all about blue flags as uh, we are getting lapped. So Rivas just had a stroll. Stroll slipped through as Beach uh, experienced blue flags is what happened there. Sergeant has caught up to Botas and Rivas has caught up to Sergeant. So uh, it is back on for a potential move. Botas into the pits. Quite a bit earlier than uh, Rivas is going to be pitting, or Beach for that matter. Okay, uh, we're going to try something. We're going to go standard. I know that it's still going to be a little bit before Stroll pits. And I'm going to try to slow Stroll up and allow Beach to get back on the back of Rivas if possible. Botas catches and overtakes Beach pretty quickly there. This might seem strange. Rivas at 55% is supposed to be pitting here very soon. Meanwhile, Beach is supposed to make it a few more laps. A strange strategy, as it's hards pitting before the mediums, but that is the strategy that the team has set up for each of them. And again, I can't seem to set that up pre-race. It's not happening the way it's supposed to. Your setup changes just don't exist. A lot of the grid is actively pitting right now. Rivas has just about caught up to Sergeant. I'm gonna wait uh, at least one more lap here as we are making good progress. We are moving fast and we are gaining ground. We might as well extend by one lap to set up the mediums to not go quite as deep on their run. Softs look like you want to pit at the right time there anyway. But Beach is way off the pace. She's now five seconds behind Botas, who just overtook her. So used mediums are quite slow, it looks like. They expect her to push on each of the last two stints, though, so she'll be in some clean air, try to make up some ground. Lap 30, and Rivas peels off into the pits. Ocon has a problem. Ocon has a problem. Please DNF. That would make life so much easier for us. 2.78 for the stop. And Rivas is going to come back out in last place. But not that far behind Beach, really. Okay, Beach finally made it to the lap we need to and want to pit. So Beach, one lap later down pit road. Or is that the... No, it is one lap later. 2.609, that's a good stop. 
is one of the best stops we've had this season. Beach is going to come out behind a few front runners, and gosh, is she already a second lap down? I think she is already a second lap down. She is. She is the first car two laps down. Rivas, there, there's already only 10 left on the lead lap. Uh, but you do have the front four, and most of the front 10 haven't even pit yet. Stroll still has yet to pit. Right now, the most difficult thing is traffic on what that does to your race strategies. Uh, but from 21st and 22nd, things are not looking good at the moment. But Rivas is close to Magnussen already. Uh, Ocon with problems. Stroll and Magnussen each with a little damage. Still, still a real shot at something. Stroll has yet to pit. Rivas in particular is not even far behind, so... Maybe just maybe Hulkenberg into the pits. Riding on board with Rivas as uh, we, we've put ourselves in position for a possible overtake on Magnussen. And it looks like we are going to complete it before Sandovat and up into 19th. Uh, we're going to ease off once again. Uh, but that is a successful overtake. That's, that's handy. Uh, meanwhile, Beach oh, stroll pits and comes out ahead of Beach. No! Your pace was that bad, or the blue flags were that bad for us, that you've been... In fact, we're not even... You're behind a Williams. We're behind Albin or Sargent. Probably Albin. And meanwhile, Stroll's pulling away from the Williams. And we're gonna hold up for another car to come through, and then there's yet another soon after. Surprised we didn't just slam on the brakes and let them go ahead of us and turn two seconds into uh, 15. So Rivas is running well up in 19th. Not only did we get Magnuson, but we've already pulled away by 13 seconds. Magnuson, tiny. Yeah, I think that's seven. Okay. That's something about getting lapped or blue flagged that just throws everything off. Rivas having a nice race. Right now, Beach is well out of position, though, and we are not getting any help from any uh, DNS at this stage. Lap 48, so four laps later. Uh, Ocon has caught and passed Rivas, but is having mechanical faults that look like it could be a DNF very soon, as is Stroll. Both of them are in pretty bad shape right now, uh, and Beach ahead of Sargent. Rivas back around Ocon. Ocon drops behind Stroll as well. And Rivas is now just three seconds behind Joe. Ah, oh, we got a big accident. Four cars involved and it's a red flag. Beach is one of them. We are ahead of Sargent. I think we were overtaking Sargent or there were blue flags involved. Yeah, we're not seeing the actual crash there, but... That is not the position. Beach needed to be 20th. 21st will not cut it. Uh, we're now looking at just 200k. And the field bunched back together. Big oh crap moment. Softs barely running aren't going to do very well getting to the end of the race. But all we have is five sets of softs left for Rivas. She's only run one set of soft all weekend. But with no mediums and no hards available, there is nothing we can do but go out on softs and either hang on desperately or end up pitting again. Uh, Stroll, Ocon, Magnuson? No, they're just all having their problems. We're set once more, and soon we'll continue this race. And it's lights out, and away we go. There were three cars involved. It was Hamilton. Sargent picks up the penalty, so Beach does nothing wrong. I didn't get a highlight. Uh, Rivas on the outside. Everybody around me on softs. You're still lap down from 13th and above. Top 12 are all back on the lead lap. Stroll with an issue is now ahead of us. We were ahead of Stroll, were we not? We were ahead of Stroll, so I don't know what happened there. 
Hamilton out of the race, but we started from 17th. So how did Stroll, yeah. Rivas is going to get the 200k, but we've missed out on the 300k with uh, Beach's finish. And of course now she's carrying damage, so not only do we miss out on the 300k, but we're going to have to replace parts. So, not a good day. Not a good day at all. And I said there was going to be very few highlights, and yet this has been a regular full race. Stroll out of the race, mechanical fault. Uh, many other cars are having issues as well. We have not yet beaten the team. Gasly is just ahead of me, though. To beat Gasly would do it. VSC, Joe's out of the race. So we're up one more spot now. 15 for sure Rebus. That is a crash. That is Sandovat. It's not even a lockup. It's before Sandovat. Got too wide on entry. The team glued to the monitors. We restart the race on lap 65 of 78 and so far have done really well to prolong the life of these tires. I think we're even going to be able to run neutral here at some stage. Uh, that VSC definitely helping us out. And we have opened a little bit of a gap at least to uh, Magnuson and Ocon as well behind. Uh, right now it's Gasly or Botas or Albin or Hulkenberg beating any one of those four will see us finish not last. But right now, even though Rivas is running 15th, she is still, or we, are still the last constructor out there going standard. One of the big things to watch out for is that I've been trying to conserve the tires, and Magnuson is now 12% behind me. 13 even. Uh, Gasly is 6% behind me and I'm catching back up towards them. Ocon with his fault is struggling. Uh, here's to hoping that Hulkenberg or Alonso and their faults go worse because either one of those would put me ahead of a team. Alonso's mechanical fault getting worse. 10 laps to go. We got a real shot of beating two teams, three teams today even. Pulling back away from uh, Magnuson a little bit, especially now that we got back up to temperature. And I'm going to go light again for a little bit longer. At least to 60% or at least until Magnuson starts to close me back down. The more tire life I have, the easier it is to catch Gasly and make a move late. Beat a team that way. And fingers crossed, Hulkenberg and Alonso. DNF. Just 2.8 behind Gasly. We've definitely gained on him. Lap 70. And we're pulling away from Magnuson. Lap 74 of 78. Leclerc with a mechanical now, but not DNFing. Uh, we've held it three seconds behind Gasly, and we're going to try to chase him down. We're at 51%. I'm thinking he's a bit worse off than I am. Yeah, 45. Magnuson at 37 so yeah, definite advantages over them, but I'm at 50%, so it's not like I have a huge advantage. Coming up on three laps to go, and we are, ah, oh, we're about to get blue flagged. About to get blue flagged. We need to go aggressive from here. And we need to go try to uh, catch Gasly as science blue flags him. If the timing works out for us, we might have a chance. Gasly now. Two and a half seconds. Two and a half seconds, but we're coming up on the final lap. Deploy. And attack. So, final lap. Final lap, and Rivas. We're already in the casino sector. Two and a half seconds down. I don't think we're going to catch him. Oh, yeah. Not like that. We're not. Blue flagged. Oh, and Hulkenberg's out of the race. Hulkenberg is out of the race. But I'm not gonna beat him, am I? That would be that would be ahead of a team. Hulkenberg. Depends on it depends on whether it's before the finish line or after the finish line. Gasly's ahead. I've gotta get ahead. Yes! I've beaten Hulkenberg. Last lap of the race. Sainz takes the win ahead of Verstappen and Leclerc. 
Rivas gets 14th, which is not in the points, but we have beaten Haas. That is some serious luck right there. Wow. Okun's not going to beat him. Okun was too many laps down. I'm not sure how this happened because she barely even made contact with the wall. Left front was about it. Uh, but chassis, front wing, rear wing, and suspension all destroyed. Plus the 300000 that we lost out on. Plus, maybe, maybe not. I think we might be okay. Engine ERS gearbox. I think that's about the right place for uh, where she was. Replacement chassis, 550000 But we only have two left, so we need to make it a million. Into June, down to 1.8 million after we spent money on repairs and did not have you know the result we needed there. Had I gone 21, 21, we would have gotten 400k. Chanced it at 500k, ended up only getting two. So definitely hurt us uh, for sure in there. Anyway, beach plus one to braking, plus one to adaptability. My old nemesis. Uh, as Rivas also gets plus one to adaptability and plus one to overtaking. She now has 78s minimum. Montreal, Leclerc, Hamilton, Stroll. First podium I think we've seen for Mercedes this season. Beach 20th. Rivas does not finish. She is out of this race. Beach was four laps down. 20th, good enough for three uh, 300,000 Rivas no payout for finishing last so we're gonna get 300k out of the 500 we were aiming for this time Oka on the only other car out of the race now nine races into the season Verstappen is the points leader but it's only 16 points ahead of Sainz only five ahead of Leclerc only eight ahead of Norris uh, but it's very much a four driver battle Piastri Perez uh, pick up kind of the best of the rest status but yeah for whatever reason they've still got Mercedes way 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 down the order and Kicksalver somehow moving up the order they've had a couple tracks where their car has been good and then they've had others where it's been bad and so uh, down to the standings anyway it's Gasly Ocon, Rivas and Beach four DNFs between the pair through nine races Haas got its first six points of the season and first of the bottom five teams to even score a point this year. We only have 1.9 million left, and I'm about to spend a million of it. We are, once again, coming up on the end of the period. I only have a couple chassis. I have one more manufacturing that's almost done to give me three. That's not going to get me through the whole season. Uh, I, I hate spending this money, but we've got to develop the car a little bit because... If we can finish a little higher at the grid, we're getting better payouts. We also need it to save our jobs, so we've got to try to develop. It's just, it would be a hell of a lot easier if I could save, like, the three upgrades we've made. If I could save that three million. If I can pocket that three million, I'm not so nervous. I'm not sitting at 1.9, I'm sitting at 4.9. Uh, we do have our sponsor period about to end, so I might have a $2 million payout here very, very soon. Target missed once again, and we do not get the $2 million, but we do get $1.5. That is a much, much better payout. And, I mean, look how close we are now. Uh, fingers crossed. We'll find out here in just a second, but I, I think we can finally top uh, the, the target. So we have a mandatory activity that's not counted in the six, I think, uh, for an energy drink advertisement that doesn't fit our brand, so it's going to hurt our marketability, but we are going to get paid $1.15 million for that one, and let's hope that this target is closer and achievable this time. Oh, I'm looking at this going, I think it will be. The guided tours. The race day appearance factory race day experience and we're already almost on there we are already almost over the mark race weekend hospitality over the mark 4.96 million 6 million 
Six million. Uh, okay, target exceeded. Exceeded by 323. This sponsor plan exceeds your sponsor's engagement target. As a result, the next sponsor plan's target will be lower. Agreeing to too many activities will result in diminishing returns in engagement. I don't think I need to fill these last two is what I'm getting from this, right? All right, I figured out how to turn that one back off. So we only need four engagement activities and that's going to get us finally to full. So I was so worried about how we weren't getting the engagement. Now we are finding we are capable of getting the engagement between our marketability increasing, between finding some improvements in the facilities. We've got $6 million on the way in just six weeks. We have got to get through this little period without drawing into the negative, but we've got some cash on the way. The big problem, though, is if we do keep our job at the end of the season, we've got to have some money for next year's car. We've got to have some money for development there. Uh, in years past, I would always try to set aside about 20 to 30 million. Uh, at, at this stage, I can't just go spend this. I've got to start banking at least a little bit of cash, uh, 10 million minimum by the end of the season. Uh, that's going to be tough but this is only sponsor plan four of eight so it looks like we can cash in pretty well the remainder of this season most likely and that'll add up that's really gonna add up so the first few worrying stretch but we might be okay now uh, we're we definitely are not loaded with with cash but the desperation that I've been reeking of <laughs> for the last three episodes I don't need to reek of desperation anymore it's just it's going to be tight now I've already seen an update for the first uh, game update that's going to be released and they've talked about how these don't add up right the engagement one shows 4.96 this one shows 3.41 what we've been receiving versus what we've been getting, uh, I think it's gonna be more along the lines of expecting this one. So I'm not gonna get six million, but I should get four and a half. I don't need to start reeking of desperation again, but that's still a little more worrying. Between the million we spent for an upgrade and then the payout we just received, we are back up to roughly two and a half million for the time being and we're kind of just hanging in there in the parts department. Uh, Beach's car is getting faster, by the way. Uh, Rivas has somehow been a little more consistent though. But with the faster car, we're gonna put Beach at 20th. Uh, I think lately though, Rivas, she's had better engine components. We're gonna put her at 21st. Spain in the rain has resulted in a Charles Charles Leclerc victory, 26 points for him, including the uh, fastest lap. Norris Verstappen rounding out the podium, and Beach gets 15th, Rivas gets 21st, but we needed a 2021, so that it is an extra 500k payout for us, and that's a pretty good result for Beach, all the way up in 15th. This was a new set of components for her, showing that she actually can beat some others, and we beat both Alpines and both Haas drivers. So Beach gets us our first ninth place constructors finish in a race weekend, 10 races into the season. Boy, oh boy, we have needed that. We have definitely needed that. Uh, Rivas still hanging on to component set number two. And actually, I think she's still on ERS number one. Beach ERS number two just now this race weekend. And number three uh, for the other components which means second half of season and we're not quite at second half of season yet so uh, at this point we are running the risk of needing uh, additional components though Rivas is looking like she might just about make it we need to get like two more races before we make a switch on Rivas and she'll be in position at that point to make it to the end of the year uh, if things continue to go our way. Verstappen still leads, but Leclerc has moved to number two in the standings. Uh, Ricardo picking up his seventh point of the season, Sonoda on 17, and Hulkenberg 
has uh, all six points for, in one race there for Haas. And we are still at the bottom of the standings, 21st, 22nd. But getting that 500000 will definitely help, as long as we're not immediately having to spend that on replacement parts. Looks like we'll have at least one to replace. I'll find out about that later. But in the meantime, how is the board doing after that? By the way, we have less than one star. This is our rating, 140. Uh, confidence is still low. They are happy with that Barcelona result. And that makes, you know, three out of ten decent results. If we can get them too satisfied instead of disappointed, though, I would be uh, rather thrilled. That should get us back up to a fairly neutral board confidence but it's not going to be easy under the uh, circumstances but that is going to do it for this episode i'm the cathlon gamer like comment subscribe and i'll see you next time have a good one be safe out there bye for now